Greek. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being patient and supportive while there were some issues regarding the setup here. And I welcome you all to the World of the Toastmasters 295th event. I am Pratik Sutar and I am Sajira Dams for the today's meeting. If anyone wants to go to the washroom or the drinking facility, the facility is outside their door. But please make sure that do not you do not go when someone is speaking on the stage and try to avoid the camera view so it won't affect the online candidates. So I will request you all to follow these three ground rules that we do not talk about sex, religions, and politics. And I will also request you all to raise your right hand and repeat the club mission after me. We provide a supportive and positive learning experience in which members are empowered, develop communication and leadership skills, resulting in greater self confidence and personal growth. Now, I will request a presiding officer, Postmaster Jyoti, to come over here. Good morning and namaste to everyone. Good morning. Very nice to see all of you here. It's my pleasure to be a part of this meeting and thank you for being patient and be there for us. Yes, uh, Saturday morning, something happened. Like, as usual, I observed something. I wanted to share it with you. My daughter is going to school in the morning. By 7, her van came, and uh, my husband used to drop her to till the van. And I used to stand at balcony, and I used to give her a pie, and she used to cry. Yes, this is our routine. So my husband went down and uh, uh, to drop her to the van. I was standing there on a balcony and uh, she was giving a prime case and the process was over. And I saw one lady. She was almost around 80, 85. She was walking in a garden. She could not walk properly, but she was walking with the help of that uh, what do you call her? She was walking very slowly, step by step. I could not told myself, I mean, I was very surprised and very impressed to see her that how hard she is trying to walk. I asked her, I went down and I asked her because I I was trying to do a morning walk and every time I was finding an excuse. So I went to her <coughs> and I asked her, Ba, how are you? And she was smiling and she uh, replied me. I asked her, how are you managing to work with this, uh, with the help of this worker? She replied me, that doctor asked me to walk, but I have so much pain in my knee that I could not walk. But I want to walk and I want to be well. So I just thought, what is there? I mean, what resources I have with which I can walk and I can get rid of this knee pain and I can be well. So I thought of this walker and I thought, let's try and that, that's why she was crying. And that that reply amazed me. The lesson of this her reply was, every time, I mean, we always feel excuses. We don't have this, we don't have that. My mother used to tell me, like, there is one phrase in Hindi. Jo paaya wo mitti ka, jo khoya wo sone ka. Mother, what we have, we don't value that. We don't consider it as our strength. We only focus on our weaknesses, we only focus on our excuses, and we keep on delaying our dreams, goals. That lady, old lady, taught me that whatever you have, just keep on chasing your dreams. Don't focus on your weaknesses, focus on your strength, and keep following your dreams and goals. So that's the moral I wanted to share with you, with this positive note. I open the uh, meeting to 90. I declare meeting to 95 as well. I can see new faces here. Uh, Mr. Prabhu, 
You need to tell how, how you came to know about Toastmaster, what you expect from Toastmaster, and a short introduction. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I'm Kadol, and I came to know about Toastmasters via like some of my friends who suggested me that it's like a pretty good environment to improve one's self confidence and like communication and public speaking skills. And this is something that I lack at a lot. And that's why I'm here. And this is my second guest session. And I was really impressed by the first session. But there were some problems in between. Like I contacted Sakshi for things and all. But uh, most probably I will be joining this classroom from next week onwards. And yeah, a bit about myself. I am like, I have a software engineering background and I usually work, work from home these days, so there are not much problems there. But I want to improve on my communication and confidence skills. Yes. And according to I may sometimes totally blank out on these stages. So. If that is okay, then we have to hear you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, good morning, my name is Sandra. Uh, regarding Toastmaster, I don't have that much knowledge. I have been introduced by Anand Prabhu. He told me a little bit about it that he did me first to build a communication system and uh, some some sort of space performance. So with this curious uh, curiosity, I had come over here. Unfortunately, my associate had gone, so no problem. Okay. I will enjoy it. <laughs> That's it. And regarding my professional career, I am associated with Vitachi Energy as a procurement and planning manager. And uh, one good thing is that uh, 30 is my last day in Hitachi Energy, and then after I would like to do my own business. So I thought that it will help me to emulate myself for my future. For that reason, thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. told me that uh, take care of him. He has to leave because of some emergency. Yeah. Emergency. His name is Sanjay. I asked yeah. him. He's the same Sanjay who used to <laughs> refer in your speech. <laughs> you remember yeah. Sanjay? Ajay Vijay. <laughs> so we will take care of him, sir. Okay. May welcome you, sir. Hello everyone. My name is Satish Patel. Uh, I have joined to, uh, still I don't have joined the postmaster, but I have attended the last session and this is my second session. Uh, I work in Alembic Pharma as a uh, in the production department as a uh, assistant manager. And my problem is whenever I come to the stage, uh, it is like completely flash. I completely uh, forgot all my thoughts and whatever I want to speak, I don't able to speak that sentences. So to overcome that problem, I come here and uh, I come to know uh, about the torch master from one of my friends, my hotel. So I thank him for this and thank you. Okay, friends, we have one new member with us, Team Bria. We are going to uh, take a pledge for her and she will also take pledge for becoming a new member. May I welcome TM Right, we are less number of participants today, so I request a big round of applause. I will read out this pledge for you. You will have to say your name and I do on it last time. I think I'll be ready with the members then after this. Yes, sir. I, I, Priya Mehta. As a member of Toastmaster International and my club, Vadodara Toastmaster, promise to attend meetings regularly, prepare all my speeches and leadership assignments to the best of my ability, basing them on projects in the Toastmaster manuals, 
prepare for and fulfill meeting assignments, provide fellow members with helpful constructive evaluations, help the club maintain the positive, friendly environment necessary for all members to learn and grow, serve my club as an officer and call upon the person, treat my fellow club members and our guests with respect and courtesy, bring guests to club meetings so they can see the benefits Toastmaster membership and offers, adhere to the guidelines and rules for all Toastmaster educational and recognition programs, Maintain honest and highly ethical standards during the conduct of all Toastmaster activities. I do. I do. <laughs> okay, I just read it out this page. All of you can stand up and raise your hand. Yeah. I read it out for all of you. Yeah. Be the member of Baroda Toastmaster Club. From yeah. Be the member of the Toastmaster Club. Promise to support you in your quest for self development. Promise to support you in your quest for self development. Provide you with positive health revelation. Provide you with health revelation. Maintain a friendly, supportive atmosphere. Maintain a friendly, supportive atmosphere. Give you opportunities to help others. And make your Toastmaster membership a rewarding and fulfilling experience. Thank you so much. We have the book for you. Welcome to the club and enjoy your journey. Thanks. Okay. Yes. Let's proceed with the meeting. We have book of the week section. PM uh, Jay Shri Gona has the book of the week. Let's welcome our friends. So, the week fellow is Master and the game. Book of the week, uh, book of the week is personality development. It is a collection of a constructive ideas on personality development. Uh, from the words of Swami Vivekananda, uh, his talk lectures and uh, uh, talk lectures and uh, uh, meetings etc. Uh, so it is published by Ram Krishna Mission, and uh, it has a small topics like uh, law, laws of personality development. How to change your personality? How to control your negative thoughts? Thoughts uh, impact of thought in your life, etc. What is the personality? Personality is the person you are. Being so, being so, uh, being so by your uh, behaviors, your thoughts, etc. And how? These small books teach us how we get motivated motivate and how we change our personality in day-to-day -day life and how it's become useful for us in every field of life. So I must recommend this book for everyone to develop your personality. Thank you. My humble request do not feel the same without I mentioned Please take care of all these things. Thank you very much for the wonderful book. I have read the, this book. This is a wonderful book. You can complete it in 15 minutes. Let's proceed with the meeting. We have a wonderful theme today. Traffic, Vadodra traffic stories. PM Janardhan going to present that. Let's welcome PM Janardhan. Mr. Postmaster and guest, I'm super excited to to perform this role and the theme of the day is Vodra traffic stories. Every city is unique and uh, Baroda is also a unique city which is cosmopolitan and diverse. It is said that it is even more diverse than Ahmedabad. Yes. Anybody from Ahmedabad? Diverse there? I think yes. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. Baroda is, uh, Ahmedabad is much of ethnic Gujarati culture and it is more of so, okay, so it's good that you all agree. And, yeah, and the traffic and driving sense is equally chaotic and diverse. 
Do you agree or disagree? Yes, yes. Okay, at least better than Antara. It's better than one. Right? <laughs> but one thing is we are blessed with a not so high traffic density. Correct? Right? But then the traffic sense and the driving sense is, is chaotic to say the least. Before I deep dive into the theme of the day, I would like to describe the uh, structure of today's meeting. Our meeting is divided to three parts. First is prepared speeches, table topics, and evaluation session. In prepared speeches, we have three speakers who have prepared their speech based on their postmaster manual, and the speech time is five to seven minutes. The second, se second session is the most dreaded session for me because public speaking itself is difficult. And impromptu speaking, when you couple public and impromptu speaking, it is for me the most difficult thing to do, even though the time frame is one to two minutes. You might have read a lot of books and uh, probably one day workshop. That's all there. But nothing like coming on stage and going through the experience. So, Toastmasters Club, Corona Toastmasters Club provides you one such opportunity, and in which even guests are welcome to participate. So, I request guests to participate along with the team, along with the members. And the last session is an evaluation session. We have uh, our uh, seasonal postman, uh, very experienced postman, postman Jit Mitranjali, who will be conducting this session. And she will be providing the 360 degree view or other 360 degree report about the meeting. Each and every small, small thing will be pointed out. And all good things also will be found. To help her, uh, we have uh, a tag team. The first tag team member whom I would like to introduce is uh, Toastmaster Jayshree. I asked her to say one word about product traffic experience. She said, uh, take care while driving because anybody can come from anywhere. Yes. <laughs> and uh, I asked her share my experience. I was very surprised when she told me this. She was given a memo of 200 rupees. Okay. For crossing the road near Kalabar. Crossing. Can you believe it? The kind of offenses which happened, this is nothing. But she was given a memo. And she said, every day I see so many people going, um, but I was caught. I had to ask, come there on stage and explain about it. Good morning, fellow Toastmaster and uh, guest. Um, today I am the uh, timer of the day. And for uh, prepared speeches, there is a time uh, time limit of five to seven minutes. I will show yellow card on five minutes. I will show green card on six minutes, and I will show red card on seven minutes. Um, for uh, evaluators, there is a time limit of two to three minutes. On two minutes, I will show yellow card. On two and a half minutes, I will show green card. And on three minutes, I will show you uh, red card. For uh, double topic speakers, uh, there is a time limit of one to two minutes. On one minute, I will show yellow card. On one and a half minute, I will show green card. And on a third minute, sorry, on two minutes, I will show uh, red card. Thank you. Our next role player of the day is Postmaster Shika. For her, one word of Dora Classic experience is relaxing. And uh, she, she told she, one experience she would like to share is once she was caught in a roundabout and uh, she had some, someone had to and some kind of person had to help her out. And this roundabout this reminds me of one thing. In few roundabouts, daily the people are caught, you know. And people stand there for 15 seconds knowing what to do because everybody has caught in a puzzle. Somebody has to move so that others can people can move forward. So I would like to call Shika on stage and the explain our rules. दीजिए स्पीच मन को रोज पास्टर में रेगुलर करिए ये सब हो जाएंगे दूर इट मींस डोंट वरी अबाउट फिलर वर्ड्स बी रेगुलर इन टोस्ट मास्टर एंड बी अ ग्रेट कम्युनिटी 
Good morning, Namaste. I am Shikhar. Today I am playing the role of R counter. The purpose of R counter is to uh, down the filler words such as R, R, Light, Bell, etc. used by the speaker during his speech, his or her speech in the meeting. As a role of R counter, I will keep a track on filler words as well as repeated words. At the end of the session, I will provide my comprehensive report about all this. Thank you. The next word pair of the day is grammarian, played by Jovi and humorous <laughs> Irene. Is product traffic experience one word I would like to describe this differently? And uh, he was uh, one experience which he would like to share is that he was given a memo of 3,000 rupees for driving in wrong side. Mm -hmm. I think these two are the only two persons in the whole world who are given a memo. <laughs> and that's a call upon Cosmos and Hidden on Thank you, Cosmos of the day, my fellow members and guests. Actually, I was from basically from Surat, and if you see the traffic of Surat, compared to that, Vadodara is very disciplined. And that's why I mentioned the relative discipline. But of course, yeah, there are always issues. Uh, there was some work going on, and there was a board, and somebody has, I mean, Vadodara Municipality Corporation, BMC, has written that go slow, work is going on. But if you just somebody change the comma, they, meant, they put the comma after go. Go. Slow work is going on, <laughs> and, and that can be described the situation. Work was going slow. If you want to ask something from someone, like I want to ask a pen from someone, I would say that uh, if you don't mind, can you give me your pen? That's a general way we say. Somebody asked me that, Hiran, if you don't have mine, can you give me pen? <laughs> so these are the grammatical mistakes, and every time meaning is changed. So I'm here to explain to you about uh, if any grammatical mistakes over here. Uh, I will be reviewing all the speeches. And if there are any grammatical issues, I will be highlighting it when our general evaluator will call upon, uh, call upon here. And I will introduce the word of the day and phrase of the day. Word of the day is vexation. Vexation means in the state of being annoyed. So uh, by looking the word of the traffic, I was in the state of vexation, or I felt vexation, like I'm annoyed. And the phrase of the day is, every cloud has a silver lining. Means uh, any bad uh, uh, activity or bad thing happens to us, it will definitely have some meaning, some benefit behind that also. Like I'm the grammarian for you, you might be anxious about your grammar this time, but the uh, benefit is that I will be pointing out the points, the issues, that will improve upon uh, your grammar in the later stage. So that is a uh, every cloud has a silver line. Thank you. And uh, what do you know? Okay. Thank you, Postmaster Hini. Uh, the, the team will be divided in three parts. First, I will talk about uh, road, uh, the road accident statistics in India, followed by Florida special statistics. Then I will be sharing my unusual or personal experience, unusual personal experience about what I have faced in Corona. And lastly, I give precautions. Some precautions are custom made daily. So I, I think you will like it. Followed by a small bridge. What about traffic zones? India has 1% of the world's vehicle. We account for 11% of the global debt. 1% of the World's vehicle and we account for 11 percent of global health. This is a very, very sad statistic for us. India records 53 road accidents every year, sorry, every hour, sorry. and about in which one out of four percent dies. Okay. 76 percent of the people who die are in their prime age of. 18 to 45 years. You can just imagine the personal and economic loss that is going to happen to the person, someone who is unfortunately killed in the good accident. The cost of 
a person who is injured who has minor injury is approximately 77000 and for seriously injured person it is 3.6 lakhs and for death it is 9.91 lakhs all these statistics are not from randomly chosen these are all from world bank report some from the ministry website and basically these two are the main source of the statistics in the height of pandemic our highest minister of road and transport minister mr nitin gadkari has told us that road accidents is even worse than covid status i mean it's, it's worse than covid which means the number of people killed in in road accident is more or less equal to the people who have died in covid this is the sad state of road accidents in india if you look at this report, which uh, 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 a graph which came in the year 2016, even though it's old, but even these numbers are little surprising. In India, of 4,80,000 crashes, road crashes, 1,50,000 people are killed, which is 31%. In China, this is 29%. In Indonesia, this is 24%. Most of them are developed, developing countries. If you look at developing developed countries already, like UK and uh, US, the, the, the people killed are very, very less. If you look at Baroda specific statistics, in Ahmedabad, the cases are approximately in the year 2021, it is 1433. So with a population of 5.5 million, the deaths are 62 per million. In, in Baroda, it is 75 per million. And Baroda is even worse than Ahmedabad Surat as per the statistics. This is from the National Crimes Bureau in the year 2021. Splitting projectiles at 80 kilometers. What could be this? Does anybody have any idea? Have you seen this? One day I was going to office and it was a pleasant morning. I was listening to song. And suddenly the car driver in front of me opened his door. One second I was thinking, what is going to happen? Is he going to commit suicide? It's a fraction of a second, many things are going in my head. And what did it was this? What did it, it was this? His car had red stains you know, on the side, and some stains had, I had on my windscreen also. I don't know why people do this, but I have seen a lot of people doing it here. Uh, if you see this image, this is the timer, red signal, and people are going. So, what could be this? <laughs> Jumping traffic signals. Right? 10 or 15 years ago, I used to have traffic signal. I used to wonder why can't they have a timing? At least people know they can wait patiently. Now, timer is there. That's also a problem because you know that you have to wait for 120 seconds, the people become impatient. <laughs> And at 15 seconds, they start grooming, groom, groom, groom. As if somebody is going to give a Olympic gold if you go. Yes. Right? Nothing. Nothing is going to happen. And at 8 seconds, people start to go. It so happened that a few times, the person who, who left 8 seconds front of me, and the next thing I am in front of me. <laughs> I don't understand the urgency, what they are going to gain by the 5 to 8 seconds of early starting summer traffic. If you have Olympic sport for jumping signal, you will be the number one. You will get a gold medal for sure. Do you all agree? Yes. Yeah. You see here this person. We had a MotoGP in uh, Noida. He will be a good candidate, right? Look at this guy. He is coming on wrong side. But and then he is also grooming very fast. This kind of skills we have in wrong, wrong, wrong side driving. We will we'll put Formula 1 and MotoGP drivers to shape, right? I have seen people do multiple crimes in wrong side driving. One, they do wrong side. They, other thing, they talk on phone. Yes. And they overtake also. I have not seen people overtaking on wrong side. What are you doing? And they go very fast also with the headlight on. Sometimes I am confused whether I am driving correctly or not. Because his confidence is better than mine. <laughs> right? 
So with this, we will go to the prepared speeches. We have first speaker, Hitesh. One word to describe corona traffic situation is circles. And uh, he had the similar experience of mine on the first day of joining his office in Baroda. He saw a tractor coming in from Singh. So here tractor, lorry, bus, bulldozer, what not, all means of transport come in Romsey. To evaluate his speech, I call upon the state postmaster Karun. Very good morning, fellow toastmasters and esteemed guests. I will just, uh, whatever Janathan talking about, what other traffic stories, I would just like to share my stories. Like the two things which annoy me the most is person coming from the wrong side. Whenever I am driving the car and if my wife is sitting beside me and if she sees someone coming on the wrong side, she will just keep her head down because, you know, I will go straight to him and the I will speed up my car and ensure that he stops. That is my the, the way he annoys me. Anymore. So I will ensure that he stops if he is coming to the That is the one thing. Second thing, what he told is mobile. I, I will just share my personal experience. I was driving, like, since the organization in which I work is very much about safety. Yeah. They uh, don't allow without helmets, don't allow without seat belts. They ensure that you don't drive, you drive the limit of the speed which is defined in this traffic course. And they also tell us that you should move from an independent to an interdependent. Independent means you take care about your own safety. And interdependent, if somebody is also not doing the same act, you tell them to do it safely. So I became a little generous and I saw a girl while driving. A scooty was talking to her on a phone. So I just slowed up my car and I just down my window. So can you just stop and then speak? And they just told me, uncle, it is none of your business. <laughs> <laughs> then I thought let us move on. So, once again, good morning, fellow toastmasters and esteemed guests. Today, my focus speaker, TM Tesh, is going to deliver his level one project two speech from the pathway dynamic leadership. The purpose of his speech is writing a speech with purpose, and his speech title is Satisfaction Guarantee. Time on please note, his time will be five to seven minutes. I wish he had been all the best for his speech. Thank you. 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 Satisfaction, happiness, enjoyment, celebration, all these are positive words. Family, life, work, again positive words with some added feeling. Guarantee, warranty, contract, law, binding agreement. They are positive or negative. Well, this depends on which side of the table you are. What are your individual expectations? And how you perceive it? Today, I am going to share a recipe with you all that worked for me in terms of deriving satisfaction both from personal as well as professional this is this is absolutely not about fulfilling your res uh, responsibilities and duties or achieving your targets also it is not about acceptance or compromise this is about one single word satisfaction okay have you ever come across a situation where you are really really thirsty and you satisfied your thirst with water from our traditional home utensil, we call it matka, matka. I am sure all of us. This is satisfaction at level one. Now, again, let me ask you if you have come across a situation 
where you have rejected any other alternative to vodka water, a Coca Cola or a refrigerator cold water, or for that matter, even Nimbu Pani. But ask only the vodka water. This is a satisfaction level. Let me share a very, very personal story, uh, professional story, which is very close to my heart to explain what I want to convey to you. I'm not sure whether I'll be able to translate my emotion into real words and explain it clearly. But what I request you all is to put your imagination at work and try to visualize. 12th November 2014, I planned a trip with my family to Kodaiwa. It was a short trip planned for four days. Just 21 days back, October 2014, I started a very, very time pressured assignment for one of our international client at work. The focus was to deliver the entire project in 20 days. And then answer whatever queries that we may have. I was overexcited and chose to deliver this. It was very, 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 very challenging assignment. We did that. As a team, we worked very hard. We delivered the report. In the end, we got a lot of appreciation, thank you from the client, and there was a joint meeting put together which was organized to thank all of us. Now, during this meeting, there was this one gentleman, I have not named him, I cannot forget him, who pressed us really, really, very hard to, you know, deliver what we wanted to deliver and extract the extra amount of work from us. <laughs> he walked up to me and he said, Hitesh, what's the plan for next week? I said, I'm only, I'm going out with my son. And then he stared at me like this. I might bother you if I really need your help. A lot of things going on in my head. I wanted to reply back, please don't. But then I took a smile to my face, brought, brought the professional friend and said, any time. After all, I had to clear my invoice. The payment that you were going to receive. So next day morning, I reached back to Vanudra and we started for the book. I had a lovely drive, fantastic time, went to two, three places to move around in Udaipur and went to a terrace restaurant for dinner. We ordered Sizzler. That time I just pulled out my phone and checked and my mouth was half open like this. My wife thought that as per my habit, I had gulped a very hot veggie and she scolded me that what are you doing like a small child? No, uh, uh, eating up. Even the children know that this is hot uh, and it's forget about eating, it's not to be touched as well. But then what was going through my mind was an email from a client which asked for 8 to 10 queries and we had to listen to that. I stuck through the night, hot through till was up till 1 a.m., got up at 5 a.m., prepared the responses and hit that send button. Satisfying. Now, next three days, enjoy all the sightseeing in Udaipur, whether it is Lake Pichola, Fateh Sagar Lake, City Palace, vintage car ride, and whatnot. It was good fun. That was satisfaction on the personal side. Now, if you look at this entire incident and read what kind of activities were going on and what was the thought process in my mind by responding to the client. On this personal thing, which was not necessary, I could have very well not responded to his email and then stayed happy and satisfied on my personal friend. But then, if we see, I was very, very much involved in the project then, and not responding would have left some glitch in my mind. And that's why I did what I did. Now, this entire episode puts one further question in front of all of us. And that is, you slept at 1 a.m., what about 5 a.m., took your family out, it was your personal space, you delivered. 
Where is work-life balance in this? Where is that satisfaction? So this is exactly the point where I want to give a message to all of you that it's not about work-life balance. It's about balancing mind, body, and heart. The plain message that goes around is that if you find this fine balance between the three elements of your life, the satisfaction is guaranteed. Next day, I saw my daughter wearing the, the, the new dress which we bought from the group, All Smiles. I received a message from the client, Hitesh, we won the bid, many thanks, smiles again. The message which I did not write was, satisfaction guaranteed, go with the food. Thank you. Wonderful speech by this person. It is something which reverberates in everybody's yes, yes. heart. Yes, speechless. I can connect with a lot of things which happened in my life in the past. It's wonderful. Thank you for yes. that. Our next speaker is Dr. Jyoti. <laughs> One word about Corona traffic is happiness. And next thing is the most funniest part. She said uh, she is learning for driving. And she feels that animals respond more than humans. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think we <laughs> all can connect with that. Uh, well, the speech, uh, I welcome Postmaster Sarika. She's online. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Good morning everyone. Good Am morning. I audible? Yes. Am I audible to everyone? So audible. Yes. yes. Okay. Good morning to everyone over there. So today my focus is speaker TM Jyoti, uh, who is going to do his, her pathway, motivational strategies, level three, project two, inspire your audience and the purpose is the purpose of this project is to practice writing and delivering a speech that inspires other under the title of you are awesome so i will you are awesome by the tm jyoti thank you you are awesome you are awesome Thank you. Try speaking to yourself once in a day. Otherwise, you will lose an opportunity to meet a wonderful person in your life. This is a famous quote of Swami Vivekananda. How many of you are speaking to yourself once in a day? <laughs> I am happy to see that we want you are speaking to yourself. Let me take you to my personal work where I actually experienced that why it is necessary to speak to yourself. What is the importance of self-love? During the time of COVID, it was, the uh, atmosphere was very negative. And something happened like I was, I don't know what was the reason. I was feeling frustrated and anxious and most importantly lonely that could be office pressure family commitments many things could be there but every time when i feel lonely i expected somebody maybe my family my friends to be there for me and to make me feel happy and everybody was there my family is very supportive i have a good friends but something was missing and I did not know what is that something which is missing. And that is where that situation, which actually works as a, every cloud as a silver lining, because it's turned out to be like that. Then I realized that there are two Jyotis in me. One 
is the one who is full of life, full of ambitions, full of goals, who wants to love everybody, ex extremely aware about the strength and her weaknesses. And the other one is was extremely unaware about all these things. So what was missing? Conversation between these two children. And that's where I started conversation with myself. And the other Jyoti asked the other one, what are you doing in your life? Why not feeling lonely? Are you happy the way you are living your life? Are, we, are you happy the work you are doing? What do you want from your life? What are the things you expect from others? What do you want to do for you, yourself? And why you are feeling lonely? When all these questions, both of us ask each other, I had the answers. And that's where I came to know myself much better than anybody else in this world. And that, that was the starting of the process. Number one, started knowing yourself. I started knowing myself other than anybody else in this world. And I could tell that it is not even my life partner or my mother. There are few things only I knew. So that is you who can only know yourself much better than anybody else. And the moment I started knowing myself, the second thing was I came to know about my strength, flaws, and I accepted myself the way I am. I accepted my strength. I worked for my weaknesses. And even though I could not work on them, I accepted my way the way I am. And the way I, the moment I accepted myself, I started loving myself. The Jyoti which is standing here, the, started saying the other Jyoti that you are awesome. I love you so much. I love the way you are. And that's the way I back my confidence back. And I realized that my happiness is absolutely my responsibility. No one in this world can make me happy if I am unhappy inside within me. I always encourage people to think about others and uh, spread the happiness. So please don't confuse this word. Self-love is selfish. Selfish is something different and self-love is something different. You can't make this world happy if you yourself are unhappy inside. And your happiness is your responsibility. So uh, you have to speak to you and you have to understand that what you are thinking, what are your goals in your life. And this process started and I started noticing change in myself. The moment I accepted myself the way I am, I became a more lovable person. I started people loving more than I, was, I used to love earlier. I started understanding people. I started accepting people. The reason was, I myself understand my problem. I myself understand what are the issues which are bothering me. Why instead of having everything in my life, I was feeling lonely. And the moment you understand that, the moment you understand yourself, then only you will able to understand the world. Then only you will able to spread the happiness and love. So that's where I started noticing change in myself. And that's where my family, my friends also started noticing changes myself. There were a time where frustrations, anxiety started tapping my shoulders every time. But the Jyoti within me started tapping my another shoulder. They don't worry, everything will be all right. You have to move on. When I fail any attempt, any interview, anything I want to try, the other Jyoti is always there. She used to tell me, don't give up. It's okay. Something better is there for you. Don't lose the hope. If I see somebody not treating me the way I expect him to treat me, the other Jyoti always tell me, move on, ignore him. He's not the right person for you. You deserve much better. That is what conversation was started. And this is what I have been practicing throughout this two, three years. And every time, it, it happens that I broke down, I lose my patience. But my soul is always there with me and she helped me to understand myself. And friends, message here is, when you understand yourself, when you start loving yourself, your soul will always be there for you and he will 
start telling you that love yourself. And when you will start this conversation, you will get a voice from inside. You are awesome. And you are a person which can, who can do anything and everything in your life. Thank you for being here. Thank you for enlightening me, Sposuma Sajwati. No one can make you happy unless you are happy. Now you are done. Thank you for the wonderful message. Our next speaker is Postmaster Dignesh. For him, product traffic is awesome. And he says that 70% of people in Bara don't follow traffic. They just think about themselves, which is correct. So to develop his speech, I call upon stage Postmaster Chintan. Please welcome Postmaster Good morning, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. Today, my target speaker, Toastmaster Jignes, is going to deliver his L2 P1 from the Pathway of Motivational Strategies. The objective of his speech is to uh, explore different communication styles and identify his own communication style. The speech also has an objective that he needs to explain how his own communication style has impacted others. His speech title is Power of Routine. The timing of the speech is five to seven minutes, and I wish my target speaker all the best. Thank you. 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 Thank Thank you, Toastmaster of the day, BM Jalada. Good morning, hello, Toastmaster and distinguished guest. I am a Jignesh Panchar, and today I am going to share something that had a significant impact on my life. And I believe that it can make some difference in your life also. It is power of routine. So before moving ahead, I have a question to all of you. How many of you are wake up early in the morning on bed, on weekend and holidays also? Every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that I was expecting and this is a good count also. I am also following the same routine like every day wake up at the same time. I observed that when we are wake up early in the morning, we find uh, extra time to create uh, space in the morning. And uh, this quiet time can be incredible productive. <laughs> we can plan our day, meditation, exercising, or whatever the skill we have to develop, we can work on it. Or simply, we can enjoy the peace and quiet uh, before world wake up. In evening, also having the early routine help us to wind up our day. In this time, it's a good for reflecting our day and visualizing, uh, setting uh, the stage of the uh, productive tumor. Now I am moving towards the uh, second uh, routine of our concept. This is uh, regarding power of power of our surrounding. Or simply, I can say that I can say that location as a memory. Uh, sorry, energy. Every location as an energy. It could be positive or negative. A everyone uh, constantly experiencing uh, different variety, uh, different activity and environment. But we often forget. Uh, we often don't uh, pose to think which are the most re resonant for us. Uh, some one of the thriving busy environment. Uh, thrive uh, busy environment while other. Other, other prefer solitude. It is important to have, it is important to recognize that we have to uh, uh, find our uh, comfort, uh, our comfort and our routine and productive also. For instance, I can say that having a meal at the same location again uh, creating a sense of comfort and routine. Similarly, reading in a library or uh, praying in a religious place, a calm and a calm and a focused environment compared to um, more more effective compared to concentrating trying to concentrating 
on different location uh, different location like in the environment so my recommendation is that you can also choose two or three activities in your life that you can do at a particular same place like uh, dinner at the dinner table and this way it's cre creating a, your routine also and it's a very impactful in your life now moving to the third and final strategy for our routine the time has an time has a memory so if we are uh, doing some activity or particular one activity same time every day it will help us to remembering this activity uh, to do it uh, our brain associated their time with the task and it helps us to making a habit and so to apply this uh, this idea can apply to the various aspect of our lives like meditation exercise reading or whatever we want to do but simply taking break also we can use this idea so here also i have a recommendation to all of you that you can find two to three activities in your life that you are doing at the same time like praying to god or whatever reading reading time so it's a 9 30 so means 9 30 sat this way we can make our routine better and we can more productive in conclusion i can say that embracing this principle first one incorporated early morning and evening routine second recognizing recognizing preferred location and third one time uh, understand the power of time and that can uh, that can transform our lives and we can achieve whatever goal we have more effectively so here i can recognize to everyone to explore expose this uh, simple but effective uh, simple yet impactful uh, ideas uh, that and you can create some change in uh, some positive change in your life so thank you everyone for listening to me and enjoy your rest of the day thank you thank you to Uthmar for enlightening us again before we Where do you sit like this? Office. Where else? Rickshaw. Sure. Fine. Where else? Auto driver. Rickshaw auto driver. That is okay. Where else? No. I have seen people drive scooter like this. <laughs> <laughs> right? The law of balancing the scooter is changed. I have seen people drive scooter like this. And phone like this. <laughs> I don't know what happens. They wouldn't have so, you know, matters here. Right? With this, uh, we go to the next session, our table topic session. For this, I have to call upon uh, Toastmaster Pratik on stage. Get some other way. To put here. Sorry, I'm sorry. I call upon state postmaster Jayashi to present our timer. Good morning. For time, very good. TM not qualified? No. Okay, only two. The duty of the answer. Okay, sorry. That's what's up for the day. That's the expense in one word and the instant which was love you sure. Thank you. Before you travel the travel. What the order travel? I find it normal actually. Because I whenever I go somewhere, for example, uh, I'm I'm from Godra. And the Godra and Godra traffic are kind of similar because Godra similar uh, sim like slightly better compared to Godra. And I haven't driven in one of more of the cities except like Godra, Andhra or Godra. So I might not have a proper idea there. I might give a comment and for the uh, in my one of my experience, I was riding a bike and front biker was you know trying to spitting 
first uh, impulse is that we would have. Have we looked about ourselves and what sort of traffic at top that have we ever noticed? Because uh, if you see above us, there is a lot of traffic of many wires going around here and there. And many a times whenever I'm stuck on traffic, I feel that, okay, my car would have that flying power and I can just lift it up and then move around so that I can avoid this traffic. But that would never ever happen. Why? Because there are so many wires, so many electricity cables, and everything are going above us. Uh, in fact, uh, there also we will not be able to follow the rules. Nobody would be driving on the left side or right side of the uh, place. We cannot be able to identify that. One of my colleagues came from UK and he asked me, which look like in USA they drive on the left hand side of the road, uh, right hand side of the road. In UK they drive on the right hand side of the road. Which direction you drive? I say that that depends upon from where that person is coming. <laughs> so the same thing would have happened if uh, flying cars would be a reality. So the, if the traffic remains going to be safe. Thank you. In India, we are driving usually on the left side, right? So, why left side? That was one question I gave into my mind. Anyone know the idea or assumption why we are doing this? Yes, that's the one explanation. Because we are uh, in under the British Empire oh, and we follow what British follow, then we are using the left side right now. But there is one also theory that more of the people are right handed person. And in the past time, where people used to have a sword for the protection, to use a sword on right hand mm -hmm. and to have some area to do acrobatic skills. Okay. That's why we are writing on the left side. Moving forward, anyone more for the table of volunteer? Otherwise, I will give you a hard question. Pick some article. 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 Pick some Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Good morning. Good morning, one second. Uh, good afternoon, I don't know what is the time right now. This one. Still morning. Still morning. Okay. So, my table topic uh, is uh, Do you need a wiper in a helmet? So, first of all, I am not wearing a helmet all this time, but during office uh, office hours, I am wearing a helmet 
or when I am coming to office, at the time I am wearing helmet. But during the time of winter, uh, sorry, during time of the rain, uh, monsoon, I observed that there is a lot of rain is, uh, <coughs> so I can, uh, visibility is quite low. So, wiper is, one solution Yes, wiper is available, then it is a good. But thing is that there is a lot of motor mechanism and other mechanism also required. So, Helmet itself is a very bulky, and I don't want to add more weight in a helmet. So wiper is a very helpful uh, in a monsoon season, but it, it is customizable only during when uh, uh, rain is occur. At the time we can uh, attach this wiper, then it is a very helpful. Otherwise, it's a very bulky. That's it from my end. Thank you. <laughs> It is very good. Uh, it okay, it, is it, it might risk the safety. Now I will call those concepts. The question is if there is a beautiful lady and a weak old lady, whom would you give a lady? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, a very good morning again, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Giving a lift is an act of kindness. And the natural answer that comes to my mind is that I'll definitely give lift to old lady. But then, the, then, then my heart says and argues back that why can't I give a lift to both of them? No. Giving a lift to a beautiful lady is also an act of kindness. Why there is a differentiation between an old lady and a beautiful lady for doing an act of kindness? But then again, there are several thoughts which go into my mind when I try to live the entire journey of lift dropping the old lady or the beautiful lady at their destination. <clears throat> Again, whatever may be the distance, whatever may be the destination, if giving lift caters to their need and if I can make out from the facial expression of the old lady or the beautiful lady that who is more anxious or who is in greater need of that lead, uh, 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 of the lift, then probably my decision may change accordingly. If my vehicle gives, has to give lift only to one instead of the two. But given a choice, yes, I would like to give lift to both of them. Uh, I need to. I will, if I am in the similar kind of situation, I will give my vehicle to that beautiful lady and help him to drop that old lady and pick me up later. <laughs> okay. Anyone from the guest? You sir. Yes. Your question is. Would you prefer to buy a used car or a new car and why? So this particular Hello everyone. If I will buy my first car, then definitely I will go with the old car, used car. Because that time I'm not that much sure driver. And uh, so in that case, I have to learn, I have to uh, take decision where, how to park, how to drive the car. In that case, I will buy used car and after that, uh, I will uh, purchase a new car, whatever uh, my budget and my requirement. Thank you. Thank you.
Your question is according to you, is it better to learn a driving in your own car or a friend's car? <laughs> Let me think about that. Yeah. So, hi. Good morning, everyone. I think, first of all, if I own my own car and I'm learning to drive, that doesn't make sense. Like, how can I get a car without driving license? But if in a hypothetical situation, I do have my own car, then I would prefer maybe try to uh, I would prefer to learn on, uh, things on a high level from uh, from my friend by by him driving his own car. But eventually, I would love to like learn or learn the driving myself uh, by driving my own car because there are some certain things with respect to driving one's own car that you cannot identify by. Just driving some analysis car. So, and eventually, since I will be using my own car in the future, it's just better to learn more about it and start. One last candidate, please. Anyone? And that one yesterday. So. <laughs> That's Your question is, what are the safest way to crash a vehicle? <laughs> <laughs> question is, yes. What another question? Yes. Would you prefer petrol? Diesel, CNG, EV, or hydrogen for your next new vehicle. And what? Um, I so currently I don't have that much knowledge, but whatever the knowledge which I have, I prefer petrol because right now it is easily available for me. And I think for in future, if uh, such kind of situations will arise, then certainly I will prefer electrical. Because it is, it might be easily available at optimum cost. So, this is my answer. So, this was the table topic session. And I was wondering that in the past time, usually average person was owning a horse and a rich person was owning a car. But in the current scenario, <laughs> The rich person actually owns the folks and everything. Also, yeah. so that's the what time changes. Yes. Now yeah. I will request in one of the day. Oh, sorry. I will ask the timer to come on a stage and give a time. Thank you, Tony. Thank you for the Toastmasters. And uh, for the uh, table topic speakers, all speakers are qualified. I, I will uh, give a vote in a few minutes, and then I will ask those most of the time. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Pradhi. Uh, the topics were simple yet thought provoking. Okay. So, thank you for that wonderful session. Have you seen people driving two wheels like this? Yeah. Very yeah. <laughs> common scenario. What yeah. this reminds you of? Is that L and that's a movie which came recently? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> that hero used to work like this. <laughs> I have even seen people hitting the red in the helmet and top. So it's not, that's another uh, new innovation. <laughs> he used to walk like this, you know. Like this. <laughs> I don't understand why people do this. But with this, uh, we will go to the gender uh, third session of the day, gender innovation. For this, I have to call upon postmaster Kitanjali or she enjoys the pornographic experience and she doesn't understand why people are, are so impatient and irritated during the time of traffic jam and all this thing. I don't know what is the need for them to be so irritated and going on honking their horns and all this. It's a, something always I used to think for that. Totally. 
Thank you, thank you. It is truly said by Ellen Moss that I think it is very important to have a feedback loop where you are constantly thinking about what you have done and how you could be doing it better. Namaskar and my soulful greetings to each one of you. I welcome you all in my evaluation segment. Let us start this journey by inviting our first evaluator. Dear audience, please welcome Toastmaster Tarun on the dais, one of the expert speakers and evaluators of our club. Please welcome him. The same is yours. Very good morning, fellow Toastmaster and esteemed guest. Today, my focus speaker gave a wonderful and thoughtful speech. So I congratulate him for that. I would divide my evaluation into three parts. First is on the good part. Second is on the improvement part. And third is I would give him a challenge which he could inculcate in the next speech. To start with the positives on your speech. You started with greeting the audience. That is the first and the foremost thing of any speech. Like when you are on the stage, please greet the audience. Your speech, you just build the speech. You went slow and steady so that the audience was very well kept uh, attending to your speech. You had good hand gestures which kept the audience engaged. In between your speech, you posed good questions. Again, which engaged the audience very well. You made it good eye contact to start with, and you very well moved from your opening to the body part of your speech. In the body part of your speech, you narrated your own personal story, how you had tracked a, a client and then planned for all the equipment to celebrate, and how in the trip your mind still was back out uh, your uh, office work so that you could, but still you managed to reply those and then continue your uh, journey. So how you got satisfied personally as well as professional. And you made a good conclusion stating that it is not about work-life balance, but it is about balancing between mind, body, and heart. The points where I would like to, I like you to input from my perspective, mainly three or four points. One is you posed question in between, but I think you should have waited for the audience to answer so that it would have become more interactive. Second is you could have divided the stage maybe and use it better. You were just flowing, but you could have used it better. Initially, you made good eye contact on both the side of the audience, but then your focus was on the left side, on the later part of the speech. And though you delivered a great speech, I think I'm uh, not sure the timing, but uh, you made a little practice on uh, at home and then you can be a good speaker. One challenge I would like to give is. Can add, you could have easily added humor. When you said you look at the phone, you can mouth open. So that voice modulation as well as some humor if it would, you would add it, and it, the speech would have been next level. Overall, you achieved your objective of writing a speech with purpose. Just look on this improvement and challenges which I have suggested, and definitely you will be a great speaker. Thank you. Everyone. Now I'm presenting my second evaluator. She is none other than Toastmaster Tarika. She has proved her acumen at her first go in the club contest. She will evaluate the speech of Toastmaster Jyoti. Please welcome her on the virtual stage with a loud round of applause. Tarika, please be on the virtual stage and just to give your presentation on TM Jyoti's speech. Thank Please you so much for a kind yeah. Thank you so much for a kind word, TM Gitanjali ma'am. So first of all, I would like to congratulate TM Jyoti for her wonderful speech in which she successfully, she, she was able to impress others through her speech by, give, by telling them then what is the first step of to generate a confidence in ourselves that we should start loving our own self and start accepting us 
the way we are. So this is the best way to generate and make yourself more confident. Secondly, very nicely in a flow, she was able to tell the difference between the self-love and selfishness because she, I think she, for me, she is uh, famous for touching the heart of the people by sharing our own stories, by making us emotional, by giving a lesson to always love, take care of others. But today in her speech, very nicely, she was, it was very important part that she was mentioned the difference between the self-love and self, uh, selfishness. And the third thing, the way initially uh, for me, I think it's a new uh, gesture for her, a new uh, character for her that how nicely she portrays our two Jyoti. Initially, how nicely the Jyoti one is talking to Jyoti two, she changed the position. So I like the all the ways she uh, represent her speech. The thing where I need, she need to focus more and polish, she, and definitely she can polish over there. I'm very sorry, but Jyoti RTM, Jyoti, I think that uh, there was just not a justice with the timing which you use for your speech, because I feel that there was a, again and again the repetition of the lines, like uh, we should try to understand ourselves and we love us initially also, you mentioned this line and then after giving the example, one example of going for interview, uh, interview, I was feeling nervous. Again, you repeat the same line. So I would like to say that you should continue the point. You started your speech with the two Jyoti. So I would like to tell you that you should uh, continue the speech with the conversation between two Jyotis only. For example, uh, uh, there was uh, my mother was suffering and she was hospitalized. And uh, then I was feeling very nervous. Then Jyoti to motivate me at that time. So I think that that will good, give a clear picture to the audience and it will be more effective. And the one challenge which I would like to give you, as you say that voice modulation or acting is not your cup of tea, you can do the character which you show today that they are two Jyoti. So always try to use this quality only in your speech to give your speech more vibrant, more effective and the rest of all really uh, your speech touched my heart thank you so much i hope you will my my reviews will definitely help you thank you everyone very good master sir now it is the time to invite my third reaction so he is not a member of our club he is a member of pc is none other than those master jinthan we have seen him as a guest, and the guest is in part in the favorite topic session. So I feel he is one of the enthusiastic and energetic Toastmaster of PCB Club. So I welcome you <coughs> on stage. Fellow Toastmasters, distinguished guest, especially my target speaker, Toastmaster Chinesh. Thank you so much for reminding us that routine is important. We have dreams, we note down the goals, but we forget about the routine. We make the resolutions, we take down the to-do list, but we forget that we need to act. And I thank you for reminding me that I need to act to achieve my goals. Now, what I loved about your speech, the first one was your clarity. You were very clear what you want to deliver. Your speech was crafted in such a way that there was always a problem, then you mentioned the solution in form of the recommendation. Your gesture was calm, composed, and that was the need of this kind of speech. I also love how you viewed your speech in a way that we were enlightened to use the power of the team. Now, what I would like to like you to improve upon, the first principle of public speaking, don't only tell, but show. You told us that this is my first recommendation. You stood here itself. Then you told this is my second recommendation. And you mentioned that this is my third recommendation. You could have used the stage for first, for second, for third. I'm sure you can inculcate this and you will be a great speaker. The second point of recommendation I have for you is about the object. The objective was to identify your communication uh, style and how it impacted the others. A one or two line or maybe an anecdote might have been a cherry on the key. 
And the last point I would like to challenge upon is improving the title. You had given us the titles in such a way that I was knowing that he's going to talk about the routine. You could have phrased in a way that it can create the curiosity in audience members. For example, you could have said secret to achieve the goals or secret to success, something like that. So you don't give away everything. Overall, you excel at calm body gesture, speech crafting, and you also were very clear in your speech. I'm sure when you inculcate these few minor points, you will be a great speaker. Always embrace the power of routine in public speaking. Thank you. Well, can then I lose your smart death in there. Many times, we feel vexation after listening to feedbacks given to us. But as every crowd has silver lining, thus feedbacks are silver lining for us to overcome our mistakes. Now, I am inviting today's timer, very cute lady, Toastmaster Keshri, to present her time in court. Welcome, Keshri. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, uh, CM Saru, uh, 2 minutes 35 seconds. CM Sarika, 3 minutes 1 second. CM Chintan, 2 minutes 25 minutes. All at one time. Then, then everyone is eligible for voting. So I request Rahul Sahar launch the poll. I think for earlier two also, you have to launch the poll. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Now, I am inviting someone very Patient woman club, very calm and composed person, and very famous for his best election. Please welcome Dutch Master Kuldeep to evaluate all the cable topics speaker. Please welcome him proudly. Hello everyone, my name is Dutch Master Kuldeep, and I'm, I'm going to be evaluating your cable topics. Regardless of how, however you guys have done, Table topics require you to think on your feet. And however you guys might have done, I know one thing that you guys will all make great table topic speakers if the current police catch you. Why did you go? Why are you out late at night? I had a solution. You make some story, and that is how it would be. Now I'm going to divide my session up into two positives and one neg and one thing that you can work upon. So my first speaker was our experienced speaker, Toastmaster Hiran. And I would like to commend him that he, he was able to gather his thoughts quickly, think on his feet, and go with the topic of what if flying cars became a reality. He had confident body language, and he has a lovely sense of humor, and he, he actually added his personal story with his friend from England, and he also added a humorous touch saying that if the cars go up, then, we'll, then they would hit the wires that we have that cover our spaces. One thing that he could improve upon is that at Toastmasters we come here to, to speak to the crowd. So I felt that he was spoke, speaking to the TTM, uh, Toastmaster Pratik, who to his credit was in the corner. So he was speaking here and then he was speaking here. Perhaps he could just speak to everyone and ignore the TTM altogether. Now, my next speaker was Toastmaster Jignesh, to homeless leader wiper. He explored both as the angles of it, but which which was good, but this is something that he I felt that he could improve upon, and that was that he repeated the question back after the table topic master handed it to him. He repeated it back and, and ate up precious time. So perhaps he could work on that. The third speaker was Toastmaster Hitesh, which he had a very nice question. If there's a beautiful woman or an old lady, who would you help? Well, of course you would help the old woman because you know she might have a beautiful daughter as well. So. So, so he he uh, in his story he displayed a strong moral compass, saying that he would it was an act of kindness and he would help the old lady. He had good a good body language, and finally decided on both of them. But unfortunately, what I feel he could work upon was that his eye contact did not reach the back of the room. It was limited to the first two rows. Perhaps if there was a beautiful lady at the back, it might have reached the back. Uh, guest Kalpish was my next speaker, fourth speaker. 
what would you buy, a new car or a used car? He, one thing I like that he spoke decisively, saying that he would prefer a used car. But what I felt that he could improve upon was that he kept his left hand behind his back. And also, when he was leaving the stage, he did not shake hands with the table topic master. So perhaps he could work on that. My first speaker was Gus Prabodh. Would you learn on your own car or would you prefer a friend's car? First of all, I, I commend you on taking the stage. You decided on your own car, but after going through all the pros and cons of both the angles. So that was a nice content angle. But you, I felt that you were rocking on your feet. So perhaps he could work on that. And he felt slightly nervous. You should be confident when you come on the stage. My sixth speaker was guest Sanjay. What type of vehicle would you use? So you said, I don't have much knowledge, but I would prefer, but he said, I would prefer petrol. All of us in life, even, we should be confident about what we know. If you know petrol, you should be confident and you should advocate for that. It's within your circle of competence. You kept your, he kept his hands in his pockets and he spoke only for a short while. So perhaps you could improve on that. And the next time when you take the stage, even if you don't know, speak as if you do. It goes a long way. I'd like to hand it back to our, our uh, G. That is my session for the day. Now it's time to enjoy the report of our Ahakata, the speaker, one of the energetic members of our club, Toastmaster. First, I will talk about PM Hitesh, PM Hiren, PM Tarun, PM Gitanji. All these are flawless. So we can say wow for them. <laughs> PM Janathan, PM Tapi, PM Sarika, PM Chintan, PM Jyoti, and PM Kuli. Used very few R and D. PM Jignesh has uh, had two long pause, five to six times R uh, and O. Many times he repeated the same word. PM Jeshu. Uh, she used R uh, many times uh, and O um, two times. In table topic speakers, guest Satish and guest Sanjay were flawless. So we can again say wow for them. Guest Prabhu, the word used N many times. Thank you. Now it is just time to welcome one of the most jovial person of our club. He's none other than Toast Master Hide to present his I think this is something is having no common platform. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Madam General Regulator, for the large amount of claps. So, uh, regarding my report, uh, I would like to say that uh, starting with Madam President and our Sergeant at Arms, uh, they did not start with saying sorry, but they mentioned that yes, delay was, delay was there, but thank you for your patience. So that was a very good uh, usage of English, I would say. Uh, when uh, Madam President initiated, uh, she mentioned about uh, when she was to re require a walker. She said, what do you call? But I would say what everybody called because it is not only you call. Uh, then uh, our guest introduced that this is a classroom, but of course it looks like classroom, but it is something that uh, a club that will uh, is rightly mentioned by uh, our madam club to lift you up. When introducing our uh, general evaluator, I think it was told that uh, she will pointing out small, small things also. In fact, she will also point out big things also. So that could have been a better way of explaining. Uh, Toastmaster Jayshree, you mentioned about the show card on seven minutes, but at seven minutes or five minutes or six minutes. So that might be a little, little bit carried up. Uh, when our Toastmaster of the day started showing the pictures of Moroga traffic, I was all worried that my picture doesn't show up. <laughs> I sometimes drive on the scooter and without helmets. So that was the reason I was 
attending to the speech he was uh, providing, but I didn't find any issues in the grammar with the word Toastmaster of the day. Toastmaster Hitesh uh, was uh, delivering a very good speech. Just one point that uh, refrigerator, refrigerator cold water, cold water out of refrigerator, just to be a bit better. When uh, Toastmaster Jyoti delivered her speech, I would say you are awesome. And I am not repeating her title. I am just complimenting her for her grammar. That was a wonderful grammar. Word of the day and uh, phrase of the day was hardly being used, except from uh, Toastmaster Gitanjali. She used both of them. And word of the uh, day was uttered by, mentioned by Toastmaster uh, Jyoti. So that was, a, I would say, Vexation was, I thought that everybody will be using it because it's an annual yes. and we are talking about the same topic, Madhundra uh, traffic. So it's a pool of annuals. Might be it's a little too easy word for all of you to use it. <laughs> then I will not use this next time. Uh, but silver lining was such that uh, entire meeting was very good and people were paying attention to that. And that was, I would say, a silver lining in the cloud that uh, everybody uh, came up very nicely. I will uh, tell my balance report whenever I meet to each other. Thank you very much. Now you have understood why I told that the most jovial and most yeah. humorous person. See, the, the simple things he, he has the ability to present in the most humorous way. So, kudos to you, Ms. Master So, after this, all this sensation, Evaluation and uh, our report now. It is my time to present my all over report. As there is a time constraint, so I will make it short, not very elaborate. First of all, I want to give my heartiest thanks to Toastmaster Ravi, our VP, and Toastmaster Udit, our VPM, for sending all the details of the live meeting well in advance. Thank you to them. Today, from 10 a.m. onwards, I have observed that I saw our Sai so dedicated and honest towards his work as he came and he started his work without seeing this side or that side. He was so devoted and focused about his work. So I think he deserved a great round of applause. <laughs> I think that they show a great example of team collaboration. It's really very wonderful. And again, thanks to Toastmaster Shikha and Toastmaster Tindan for writing Blackboard. Those Toastmaster Tindan you can get from Adegra, but he lent his hand to help Toastmaster Shikha to write the book. So well done and kudos to you. Then, though we are late for five minutes, but Toastmaster Pradeep handled the matter. There was a technical glitch, but he very nicely handled uh, the situation and just after 10.35, instead of 10.30, 10.35 started at meeting and once it started, it started in a very good mood and without any interruption. After welcoming the guests and starting the meeting, after um, explaining about the mission and vision of the club and about all the facilities provided here and there, Whichever the necessary things, he explained everything in a very detailed manner and then very swiftly handed the stage to our president or presiding officer, Toastmaster Jyoti. Toastmaster Jyoti, in a very nice way, very inspiring, with by giving a very inspiring story, she started the meeting. It was really wonderful. Then she introduced a very cute lady, Toastmaster Jayashree to give the book review on mine. What is the name of the book? Personality. <laughs> Personality Development. And it is not actually the book written by him. It is all the matters gathered wherever he has given many lectures in many places. All those lectures and his thoughts were gathered and that they were accumulated in one place and they have given Ram Krishna Mission. Foundation, this Ram Krishna Mission body has given the tape of the book and they gave the name of the book is Personality Development. I think we all must read the book to enhance our personality. After this book review, Toastmaster Jyoti 
very swiftly handed the Michi uh, to today's Toastmaster of the day. Before that, she followed all the protocols of the meeting. She introduced the guests, though there are a very little, less number of people are there as a guest, but she did all these, all the things, all the formalities she had followed. She introduced the guests to the club. Then she handed the charge to our Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Janathan. And Toastmaster Janathan, very innovative topic he have brought in front of us, that is Vadodara traffic diaries. It is said very good that the city in which we are living, we must know the traffic condition of that city. It's very nicely, very, in a very interactive manner, we have explained the thing. Then it comes that uh, about the my captain, Toastmaster Jayashri, Toastmaster Shikha, and Toastmaster Hiriyan. They really, they are the strong pillar supportive system of any Toastmaster meeting, and they have fulfilled that commitment. They wonderfully, they, all of them have completed their duties. Afterwards, the speech, prepared speech segment, Toastmaster Hiriyan, though you were not confident, but actually you have made me speech. It was so wonderful. Jyoti, again, you have given a very, very nice concept of self-love. If you want to make the world happy, the first condition, we must love ourselves. When we love ourselves, then only, there is a circle of happiness. When we love ourselves, we will love the world. So, it's a very good concept you have kept in front of us. Again, Toastmaster Dignesh, to be in a routine and a disciplined manner, we must keep our life. All the three speeches were of three flavor, but they are wonderful and excellent. Postmaster Prati brought a very innovative and thoughtful topics for table topic session. And not only he has given a wonderful table topic session, but all the speakers, they have tried their label best to give their best to enhance this session. Again, today's evaluator, what to say? They are excellent. So that is uh, Taru, Postmaster Taru, not Sarika. They are, we know they are very good and excellent, but I am really amazed with Chintan's explanation of um, evaluating the speech of Toastmaster Dignesh. Well done. You amazed me. Thank you so much. And also, thank you so much for lending your hand to help us to whatever the missing members, those who have come and because of the urgency they left the meeting, they have just feel the right. Okay. Very good. Well done. PM Kulti as a general topic evaluator, again, he has given his best. Nothing to say about this because to evaluate table topic speaker is quite a little. It's very difficult to listen and to think of, of so many speakers. But he has did his part in a very excellent way. In a overall manner, I can say that the meeting was quite successful. But another one thing I have to praise that there were three. Changes in the meeting. Toastmaster Udit was not there. Ananda came and read because of some emergency. And uh, one more uh, timer. timer, yes, timer Jay, she, uh, took the place of Udit. But see the charisma of Toastmaster Club, it never stops. People are there to take the places of those things, those who are not there. So kudos to them. According to me, everything went on very nicely. Just for the speakers, as their evaluator also says that, just do little hard work in your eye contact, voice modulation, and body language, and use the message. And those who have come, I think one or two, I don't know whether they have come late or not, please come before 10 or 15 minutes earlier to attend the meeting, then meeting will be very smooth and sound for all of us. 
with this, with great success of this meeting, I hand over the charge to our Toastmaster of the day. <laughs> So I don't want to take much of a time because already we are over short. Uh, but two, two the things which I would like to share my experience. Uh, we have seen people not using indicators, right? We have people feel that it costs money or maybe MDBC will ask for, you know, right. bill for using the indicator. But I, I recommend you one small thing. Whenever you are going straight and you want to tell us that you are going both sides, to have a look at the wheel of that person. Yeah. The car driving in front of you. And mostly that will give a very first indicator which way it is doing. That is one thing you can always do. And second, while you are driving in the night, use your beam toggle, high and low beam, as your second indication. Because once the person in front of you knows that you are coming, something is coming, then most of the actions are loaded. And uh, with this, I, I I recommend and I, I really request all, all the postmasters coming to the meeting not to come in the wrong side, please take the roundabout and come to the meeting. It's just hardly 30, 20, 30 meters on either side. You don't want to burn your petrol. Right? And white bills are good medical these days. And drive safely. And uh, it's very important that we we that we for example don't worry or think about what others are following. You follow and avoid the rules which is made out you. With this, I have no stage to be. Good afternoon, everyone. We are short of time. Uh, before presenting the awards, I want to uh, share two things. Uh, very special thank to. I was yesterday. I called up almost ten members. For the role playing, and very special thank to TM, Dinan, TM, Jayshri, and TM, Chintal. They offered their support at the very last moment, and uh, I know TM, Dinan, your uh, schedule is very busy, but immediately he replied, Jayshri immediately replied, and he, he uh, contacted me. I didn't approach him, he approached me that is there something I can do? So that is the uh, way of support we give to each other. And another thing, girls sitting there were constantly talking when people, they, there was a request. I wanted to, I talked to her, but it's my humble request. If you notice such things and somebody sitting besides you, please tell them that this kind of thing we should not entertain. And we have to maintain the discipline. So next time, it's my request. If you find something like that, please uh, tell that person that. We are not going to entertain such things. So we are proceeding with the awards. Pratik, are we ready with the awards? Just the last. Uh, okay. Birthday boy wants to do, uh, distribute the chocolate. Who's but? Thanks, Pratik. When was he birthday? Let me distribute the chocolate. Then you can distribute the chocolate. <laughs> Okay, I am seeing Let him decide. <laughs> Let's wish him a very happy birthday. Let's wish him a very happy birthday. Let's wish him a very happy birthday. He is not speaking to all that. The Tarun needs to be always remain young. One who remains. So, he will remain young. So I will not say what is your age. You look like twenty. Twenty. I haven't. I just talk like. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
सकती है बेस्ट प्रीपेड स्पीकर तीन डिटेल बेस्ट इवेल्यूटर तीन चीज का बेस्ट टेबल टॉपिक स्पीकर टीएम भी रहेंगे बेस्ट रोल प्लेयर टीएम चला बेस्ट सपोर्टिंग रोल प्लेयर टीएम रेल Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Okay, we have one minute. Uh, we can have one feedback from our guest. Anyone would like to come here and share the feedback or the guest? Mr. Sanjay. Satish. He is coming. No? Come, come, come fast. Both of you can share it. You can do it fast. I think it's not. We have two minutes. Two minutes. Ah, yes, two minutes. So you can ask him more. Oh, hi, everyone. So I observe everything. So one of the things which I observe here, here there is a positive sign, which I can observe. And one of the most important things here, uh, I mean, everyone is being treated as a parent and equal. No one is doing no one is bad. Okay, finally at the end of the day, first, second, third, or whatever the award you want to it should be there so that uh, it's a challenge for individual. To uplift themselves. So, this is one part. And second thing that which I can see that yes, uh, in this session, I can feel that confidence, uh, I mean, at least publicly speaking, it would be good or it would be best if people will continue doing their practices. And I think this is the best forum which I have earlier not informed. Now I've been informed. So, it is the best forum to practice and deliver your speech. By doing some homework. So that is the best part which I have observed. So thank you again. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Both, I want to use one. So you all have thanked me more, but uh, the only reason I approached Jyoti in my previous club, I was VP Education. And I knew the hard work and pain points of UK education. I I impromptu taken the key mode and what not. So it's okay. I do it for my better growth and for the overall club. And this club had provided me initial opportunity, the flavor of postmasters in Badodra. So it's my humble duty. So thank you. <laughs> so friends, now uh, other than yesterday, we have children who get over many times. So we will show sure. thank you. I'll be happy. <laughs> thank you so much. So with this, I urge a meeting. Thanks. <laughs>